Hi, my name's Ernest from Lipo for Oz, and today I just want to run through the new daily BMS S series. Now, uh, this is a new model that they've just brought out. Um, as you can see, compared to the older model, um, it's much smaller. Um, it definitely weighs less. So the older model was 1.5 kilograms, where these ones here are about 600 grams. In terms of size, you can see obviously they're around about 70% the size of the old one. It has fan cooled, um, which uh, the air cooled ones we've had previously, we've never really found any issues with them being air cooled, but now the new ones are fan cooled. Um, probably the major difference with the, uh, the new S series BMS is the amount of currents that you're allowed to able to or able to charge at. So with the old BMS, if it was rated for 200 amps, you could discharge at 200 amps with a peak of around double that. However, the charge current was half that. But with this new S-Series BMS, basically the charge and the discharge um, rate is the same. So on this particular model, which is our 4S uh, 250 amp model, um, charge and discharge current is um, 250 amps however a maximum of 375 at peak for you know no more than 30 seconds um, the other major thing as well is with the older model if you wanted to connect multiple BMS's in parallel you would need this parallel module or that it's highly recommended that you ran this parallel module to um, prevent any damage to the cell when connecting um, banks in uh, sorry to the BMS when connecting in parallel however this new um, S series BMS has the parallel module built into it so um, you know no need to buy a separate parallel module if you wanted to connect multiple BMS's in parallel um, as you can sort of see the older model has the cables already connected um, where the newer model um, doesn't have the cables connected but we include them in the box for you there's a number of um, extra ports here so on the older model it only had one UART port which meant that you could connect um, the display or the Bluetooth dongle but you couldn't have um, both of them um, connected simultaneously um, where with this new one um, it actually has two um, UART uh, connections plus NTC connections so you could run multiple um, accessories um, at the same time. Let me um, open up the box and I'll show you what we get inside. We include the B and the P minus cables, um, which are these ones here. Okay, so the B obviously goes to the B side of the BMS and the P goes to the P, P minus side of the BMS. In here, you'll also get your temperature sensor, um, which um, uh, plugs into the DIO um, side of the uh, of the BMS um, you'll get your um, LED um, display um, which again connects into the UART one of the UART connections in there um, your Bluetooth dongle um, which um, allows you to connect with the mobile app we also include UART USB cable. So that's if you want to connect the BMS to a PC. You also get, or we include the CAN RS485 um, cable. Now this is if you want to get the BMS communicating with a inverter or another device. This plugs into the BMS. However, the other side, you would need to splice your own cable. So um, even though the cables are connected here, it's not plug and play, but for um, you know the hobbyists out there that want to get the BMS communicating with their inverter or uh, you know other devices, that's the cable, um, so you can do that. One major um, upgrade with the S-Series BMS is this buzzer. Now, anyone that is familiar with the new regulations to do with um, lithium batteries and um, storage with um, caravans, motorhomes, um, those sort of applications, um, one of the requirements is your BMS has needs to have an audible warning if there is, you know, an issue with um, with the, the bank through either, you know, overcharging, over discharging, or any of these other parameters. Um, so that's a new buzzer um, which can plug into the BMS as well. Um, so that's um, a major upgrade as well, so that you can comply with um, any of the new regulations, which um, I'm almost certain that some of the sealed batteries don't even um, comply with. One may, well, I wouldn't say major issue, but an issue with the new BMS is um, as um, 
some of you might know, we actually custom make our cables for these BMSs. Um, so that way you can run the active balancer. Now we always recommend that you run an active balancer with, um, with your LiPo 4 cells to ensure that they maintain balance. It's more to ensure you get the maximum amount of usable capacity out of it. Um, but we get these cables, or these Y cables as we call them, um, custom made, um, which come with two plugs on the end. One that plugs into the active balancer like so. However, uh, BMS, uh, Daly's actually changed the plug on the, uh, the new BMSs and as you can see, they don't plug in. Now, um, what, we've, what we're doing in the meantime is we're actually getting these adapters made where um, the adapter will plug into the, um, the old Y cables that we've got and the new one will plug into the BMS, okay? But in, uh, in the process of us getting these manufactured, the, uh, the manufacturer unfortunately put the plugs around the wrong way. And as you can see, the uh, black cables on the on the end here, and the uh, black cables on the wrong side here. So it needs to be this way. Um, but we're in the process of getting those fixed. So um, in the interim, before we uh, get these um, um, remanufactured, um, if you purchase one of these new S series BMS with the active balancer, um, which, you know we highly recommend. You can either plug this side into the um, active balancer or, or, or into the BMS. And then we'll also include another cable like this here, which will plug into the active balancer. And this cable here, you'll just need to connect to the cells um, exactly the same orientation as um, what the, the, the BMS cables are. Okay, uh, hopefully that's not too long. We'll have these adapters um, ready um, pretty soon. So um, yeah, again, you'll just need to, um, to do that for an interim. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. That's all I really wanted to cover off with this new S um, type BMS. Um, if you've got any questions, please reach out through the website on our contact us page. Uh, our phone number's there as well. Um, and you'll see our address if, uh, if you wanna um, drop down. Um, but apart from that, we'll see you in the next video.